administrative authorities and maintaining law and order in pre-election period is the theme of the first biannual conference of regional governors taking place in Yaoundé under the chairmanship of the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Atanganji. On this edition, we listen to orientations given to regional governors by the minister as well as the poles of the regions. I'm Elvis Teke at the anchor. Let's begin this episode of the program with an overview of the resolutions and the discussions of the Governor's Conference with our reporter, Tanjong Levis. Discussions during the Governor's Conclave in Yaoundé focused on security reports and surveillance in the different regions of Cameroon. The first biannual conference of regional governors was presided by the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Atanganji, under the theme Administrative Authorities in Maintaining Law and Order in a Pre-Election Period. Minister Paul Atanganji used the opportunity to call on all the region's chief executive officers to intensify security in their jurisdictions. Considering the context of pre-election in the country, the Minat boss urged political parties to heed the voice of reason and respect Republican values. Governors generally meet twice every year to discuss on the security situation of the regions, evaluate the realization and execution rates of government projects and other general aspects of the country, with objective of improving the livelihood of citizens and piloting the country to emergence. The session is hoped to give a better understanding of various challenges faced in different regions and concrete measures taken to curb such difficulties. Let's now listen to the Minister of Territory Administration give clear indications first to political party leaders on how they should behave in the pre-election period and also what he says about bike riders and transporters, especially on the highways Yaoundé Douala, Yaoundé Bafusam, Douala Bafusam. He described it as a triangle. I want to make it crystal clear that all political parties and associations are under the Ministry of Territorial Administration. No political activity shall be carried out nationwide without clearance from administrative authorities. Defaulters, regardless of their social ranking, will pay a heavy price for violating laws and regulations of the country. Media houses should be very conscious during their interactive programs, which have become a kind of one-man show where people exhibit intelligence of ignorance, where hate speech and defiance of authority has become more of the day. Any attempt to disrupt the electoral process today, tomorrow, shall be dealt with squared. President Pompey has given freedom of speech and democracy to us so that we should build our country instead of destroying what has been achieved. However, we encourage politicians to go about their activities in strict respect of state institutions. During this conference, we will also examine the problem of road accidents that have claimed several lives in our country since the beginning of the year 2024. It should be stated that these accidents have been caused by reckless driving. This issue will be examined together with the Minister of Transport, the Police, and the National Security. Administrative authorities have been instructed to put order in the motorbike sector. But how do regional governors evaluate the situation in their respective regions? Let's begin with the governor of the Southwest region, Bernard. The South is preparing like the other nine regions. The administration is functioning, the political leaders are active. Uh, for what concerns the Southwest region, activities, economic activities, socio cultural activities, political activities are back to normal. So, according to the various uh, objectives and ambitions of the stakeholder. They are preparing and uh, we are taking care that they should carry the activities 
we think they respect of the laws of the record people. And teaching data, everything is going well. Uh, just want its things to go like that. Uh, they count as usual. In the press, you know, you carry the good message because some people are still hesitating to come to Goya to carry the activities in the Southwest region. But I want to reassure them that the Southwest region is back to normal. The security situation, as well as the economic and sociocultural atmosphere in the Northwest region, is also presented to us by Governor Adolf Lele Lafrik. Grateful to him, to the government, to the Minister of Territory Administration, and we are also grateful to the population of the Northwest region. He thinks that to their bravery that we are recognized to be brave here today by the The economic capital, Douala, is also a strategic part. But what does the governor of that region, Samuel Ivahan Tiboa, thinks is the situation in this region ahead of 2025? I think uh, people are excited uh, in Douala in particular because uh, all the parties are just uh, coming to uh, make uh, sure that uh, uh, their elements are registered. So uh, everybody is there working with uh, ELECAM and uh, we see some of them are just uh, wearing clothes showing the obedience but uh, it is not a good way. We are asking people to come and register. Registration is not a question of uh, only the parties. It is a question of citizens. So we are asking all those who are making it with noise just to avoid it and uh, be sure only that uh, the uh, opponent, the, the, the member of the party, uh, if those are not members, all people are registered in the Peace and serenity has returned to the far north region and that region is currently in a period of reconstruction. Let's get confirmation from its regional governor, Mijiyawa Bakari. Before speaking of election, we have to stabilize the region. And right now, the security situation is back to normalcy. And that's why people, uh, different presidents of party, have worked far north to sensitize the population. We have different Congress on the air, and, but beyond all, the CPDM is the leader. And um, also, mm -hmm. um, population, um, we have uh, the inscription of the electoral list have been increased. Students, women, young, here and there. And um, people who have, uh, by the term, leave their village for the security, right now we are back and then we, uh, we organize the operation of the enrollment and registration here and there and uh, we notice that many people, many, many people have been there. The East region, which was once a hotspot due to crisis in neighboring countries, is currently facing a boom and a period of peace and economic growth. Let's listen to Governor Grigoire Vongo. Let's also have a recap of what the other regional governors think of their respective regions ahead of the election year, which is 2025. Um, as an administrative uh, authority, it is our role to uh, take care of uh, all the stakeholders. And at this moment, uh, they are very busy. 
busy galvanizing the population to, to register. That was the package we put together on this edition of Web Talk on CRTV Web. We invite you to stay tuned to our channel, like, share, and subscribe. I'm Elvis Teke. Ciao.